Welcome back to your live Be Terrific continuing coverage of the New York International Auto Show 2015 in New York City. I'm Michael Artsis at Be Terrific TV on Twitter and Instagram. Please tweet at us, Instagram us, gram us, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, it's a fun way to connect. You can also connect at BeTerrific.com. Connect at BeTerrific.com for email and join our IRC chat. It's BeTerrific.com slash live. Go underneath the live video player and join the chat. Communicate with our other viewers and ourselves on air, in real time, all that stuff. It's great. Don't forget to download our app, app.beterrific.com. And we've got a live daily show, The Michael Arts' Show, Monday through Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Celebrities, all sorts of great guests, great stories. And that is over Skype and, of course, in-studio guests. And the best part is it's sports, entertainment, autos, tech, and business. And we have a lot of fun. You're not going to want to miss it. We do that daily, Monday through Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. Check it out. All right. We've got Steven here from a great, great company, a rich heritage. You guys represent brands like American Coach. Uh, of course, the Allied Recreation Group also represents Fleetwood RV, Monaco, Hollywood Rambler, Safari, Beaver, and Trek. And you guys, I mean, American Coach, I look at these things, I, I'm so drawn to RVs. I want to go RVing. I want to get an RV and take the family. I want to get an RV, wrap it, and go to training camps, NFL, MLB, and do shows from these RVs. Not a bad way to travel at all. And a lot of these are used for music tours, too. Um, the American Coach, to me, are like the gold standard. Uh, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. First of all, do you need a CDL to drive these things? Absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. A anybody can drive one. They're easy to drive. Um, it's a great lifestyle. It's it's a it's a fantastic way to travel um, with uh, by yourself in retirement, before retirement, with kids. Um, do you do it? Do you RV? Absolutely. I would. I think the thing for me is I'm not the type of guy who's going to stop at the KOAs. <laughs> I'm not going to go to Campground of America. Uh, I'm not going to go to those places, but I, I would park it in Chicago or New York or wherever. And, you know, honestly, I want to take it to Minnetonka so we can uh, go to the Vikings training camp. Or I want to go to Tampa so we can go to uh, Yankees training camp or Port St. Lucie for the Mets or wherever the Red Sox are. And then I want to go to Arizona for that training stuff too so i think it would be a lot of fun yeah there's there's lots of rvs that are self-contained that, that yeah. don't require you to to be at a campground to use well that's so. what i'm saying i want to sleep in the thing absolutely in the morning just get up in my pjs and do a broadcast <laughs> be like what's up that's adam the, jones How that's you the best part about rving is it is it is your home yeah. on wheels so you move your home wherever you want to go oh, that's what i love about it so like a lot of people they go out and they buy a house huge mortgage, all this stuff, but literally I, there's something freeing about like, I, I kind of have this like crazy idea in my head that one day it'd be amazing to just have an RV and not have a home. Like that would be my home. Lots of people do it. Yeah. Lots of people sell their house and hit the road. Do you have to pay property taxes when you do that? Uh, it depends on the state. Um, well, I mean, if you move around, if you keep moving around, what would you say? <laughs> what, what state do I pay property taxes it, to? It depends on the state because there are, are excise or luxury taxes. Sometimes they could hit a hit a, a, a high or expensive vehicle. Sure. But you, in the in the traditional sense, no, you wouldn't have. Um, uh, property taxes because you wouldn't own, own any physical this ground. Is real freedom. Yeah. Did John Madden have it right? I think he did. You just you you you, you build out an American coach and you drive around. Yeah, I mean that's really the ultimate way to live. And there are many people that um, buy Fleetwoods or American Coaches or, or many other brands that that uh, live and work on the road. They run a business from the road, um, some of them even with kids along. Wow. Um, because when you've got a, a motorhome um, or an RV that, that's big enough um, and uh, you're a free spirit to a certain degree, you can live, work, travel, and uh, have a, a really incredible lifestyle. How, how many bedrooms do these things have? Like if I wanted to sleep my kid and, and then my wife and I want to have a bedroom, are we good? And then I know the showers are like beautiful. You got beautiful bathrooms now. Yeah, so um, we have we have lots of, of motorhomes that are actually bath and a half, mm -hmm. um, which is incredible in itself. But uh, 
Um, most of them have one bedroom in the yeah. in the back, and then there's usually uh, alternate sleeping areas. There's a loft that comes down out of the front that lowers down out of the ceiling for for kids or guests. There's uh, certain floor plans and layouts with bunk beds, wow. um, bunk beds that close off into their own little separate room. And you can rent them for like a week or two or a month at a time too. There are a lot of you have like a whole network where you can go and and, and I mean it, maybe it's not you, but it, as as far as uh, the company, but there's a lot of places you can go and rent one for a month or a week or whatever and take the family. Yeah, so if you if you go to GoRVing.com yeah. and you want to get into RVing. That's where uh, I've gone there before. Yeah, GoRVing.com is the best way to start if you have any curiosity about RVing and they can get you connected to, to rental places throughout the company and renting is a great way to try the lifestyle. Yeah. So uh, how much is like the top of the line American coach? Um, you have one here. It's gorgeous, I, right? I, yes, we have a 2016 American Eagle here at the the auto show fully for a loaded. couple days. Fully loaded. We got a satellite TV. We've got the internet. We've got the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom, the whole deal. Couches, yep. a place to do a broadcast, a live broadcast from. Absolutely, the utmost luxury, high end technology, all rolled into one 45 foot coach. Um, it's here. American Coach spans a price point um, uh, retail from about uh, 350 thousand up to about 850 thousand. And and but this is a home on wheels. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I like this. It's a, a luxury smart home on right. wheels. Right. And then you guys have other brands that uh, that have different kinds of RVs uh, that that might be for the weekend warrior or might be for a family that wants to do once a once a summer wants to go on a two-week vacation yes so our, our Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler brands are more family focused mm -hmm. they're smaller coaches less expensive um, easier point of entry for someone trying the lifestyle or or on a budget um, those price ranges um, go from 75,000 you know all the way up to, to 300,000 and you can lease them uh, you can't lease an RV. You can't. You can um, finance it. Uh, you can absolutely finance. Uh, sure. You can finance it up to 20 years. 20 um, years. And it is... That the, is like a the, mortgage. The interest is deductible as uh, as a second mortgage. Really? Just like a vacation home might be. That's very, very interesting. Yep. I like that. Now, how often do you go RVing? Um, I go um, two or three times a year, how as my schedule allows. Take the kids. I got a four-year-old and an eight-month-old. So. I love it. They they come along. We bring the we bring the dog. Got a small uh, uh, spaniel. Uh, he comes along as well. What, what uh, and do you, your kids love it, right? Oh, my my four year old son is head over heels. He, um, I, I'm trying to get him to say motorhome, but he keeps calling it a, a camper bus. <laughs> um, but he he loves it because we're outdoors um, most of the day, um, and it it's it's an adventure. Yeah. Um, it's a new adventure every trip. And that really appeals to kids and their sense and of And you get adventure. to see the country and you don't have to go through security and get on long lines and get to the airport early. And I mean, traveling is so challenging. You don't have and to board the dogs. You don't, uh, you don't have to do any of that. Everything comes with you. This is amazing. Amazing. I like it. You got to go to GoRVing.com yep. to, to just even get interested in it. And then, of course, you can go to, to your website, which is alliedrecreationgroup.com. You can find out about all the brands, alliedrecreationgroup.com. Yep. Now, how did you get into RVing? Um, it's a funny story. Um, um, I actually, my, my father worked for the manufacturer um, on the production line growing up. So it was always sort of a cultural thing I was aware of. Um, and, did you go RVing as a kid? Um, uh, I did. I went RVing with my grandparents as a kid. They used to take us, uh, take me up into northern Michigan and Canada in the summers. Like and, uh, like Houghton, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. Upper Peninsula. We took the RV across uh, across the the lake on the USS Badger mm -hmm. on the ferry. Wow. Um, yeah. That's over, Lake Superior, over, right? Yeah. Over to Manitowoc. Uh, um, um, got to see the. Uh, the submarine um, museum that's over in Manitowoc and look what great memories you have. I, it's fantastic memories. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. And then where did you sleep in that RV back then? Um, then it was the dinette. Of course, this, <laughs> you know, th this was the '80s, so it was a it was a dinette, and you had to fold it down. And it we're was, talking full kitchens now. Oh yeah, we've got induction cooktops and residential induction. and residential style refrigerators, convection ovens, and this um, is this dishwashers. Is, this is all great because I don't even use my kitchen to this day. You know? <laughs> I, I know how to take out. Okay, will people deliver to the RV? Can I get a Chinese restaurant to deliver I or think Italian you, place? Yes, yes. <laughs> Where are you located? On the corner of 34th <laughs> and 11th. 
That's well, a fantastic idea. Yeah, I like that. We should do that later. <laughs> See if somebody will do it. Steve, thank you so much. It's alliedrecreationgroup.com. Alliedrecreationgroup.com. You guys are awesome, uh, and and I love the products. Go RVing.com if you want to get into it. Yep. And uh, we got to come check that out later for sure. Absolutely, come out and see us. You'll be you'll be shocked at how much uh, how much luxury and technology is in this thing. It's like a yacht. It is very much like a yacht with wheels. A yacht with wheels. See, I don't like yachts. I don't like boats, but a yacht with wheels, I'm into. <laughs> I want to get on the yacht with wheels. I'm going to go check it out later so you guys can see that up on Be Terrific in the future. All right, this is your live continuing 2015 Be Terrific New York International Auto Show coverage. I'm Michael Artsis. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this. Don't go anywhere. Don't move a muscle. You're not going to want to miss a second. <laughs>